It is Wednesday, March 11, 2019. Today seems like a very good day to drink some beer. Yes, I'm sitting in the washroom. Gang, gang, gang. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Coke Boy Peking. Welcome back to the channel. To all the Czech and Slovak gangs out there, jak se mate, nebo ako se mate, gang. It's Monday today, aka Pondeli. This weekend was actually pretty dead beat for us. Me and my girl, we stayed home for the entire weekend and watched the season three of True Detective, the entire season. It's pretty good series actually, so if you want to watch it, check it out, I recommend it, it's dope. So actually I'm going to Albert right now. Uh, we're doing a beer reaction slash tasting video, so I would need beer for a reaction video if you want it to be a good video. You guys get what I mean, right? I'm still dead beat. It's Monday, give me a break. Okay, let's get ready then. Wallet, ear pods. By the way guys, just a quick question. Are bumpers even in anymore? I feel like this shit is like 2018, 2017 kind of thing. Like this, this. Yeah? I don't know, I'm still gonna wear it. I'm too cheap, I don't wanna buy anything, so. Ah. Okay, so we all know that Czech Republic actually has one of the best beers in the world. Czech Republic was one of the first country to brew the actual blonde Pilsner lager beer. Um, okay, um, it's raining a little bit outside. I don't think we'll take the big camera because I don't want to ruin it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna use my phone. Yeah, so we all know that Czech beer is the best, but do you guys know that one in three East Asian people are actually allergic to alcohol? So when I drink alcohol, I turn red. I don't have the necessary enzyme to break down the alcohol component as a normal person would be. Why am I doing this? Because I love y'all, you guys mean everything to me. Okay, that sounds cringy as hell. Um, you know what I'm gonna say, right? Subscribe to my channel, guys. Please support your boy. Holla. Now let's get some beer. That's a lot of beer. Okay, so I guess it's a success. I got all the beer, so see you guys back at home. So guys, I'm back in the house now. We have Battle Royale here. Premium selection and not so premium selection. Tivole. That's a lot of drinking for a Monday. Let me be brave. I will be brave. I can do it. Okay, I can do it. Good. <laughs> Grumpy. Uh, you can leave any time now. What's up guys? It's my cat. His name is Grumpy. Cheap shit first. Okay, first up, Gambrinus. This is actually the most sold beer in the entire Czech Republic. So I guess the thing I'm supposed to say is that, oh my God, this is such an amazing beer. The taste is just for me. The branding appeals to me. I love this old guy right here. I'll have to properly taste it. Kind of watery, it's a little bit bitter, not so smooth. Still better than any beer you can find in the United States. It's okay, but the bitterness is not perfectly smooth. I'm just gonna go with like a five out of 10. Star Pramen, okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I like the bottle, it's kind of fancy. It's from Prox, so I gotta give it a shot, right? Mm. It's distinctive. It's definitely a lot different than a lot of beers I've tried. It's recognizable. It's smooth, it's balanced, is it my favorite beer though? Probably not, but it's not bad. Hey Grumpy, you want some? It's gonna have some later. Okay, next beer. Oh shit, now it's a proper bottle between Berniaks and Prajaks. Starry Berno. Let's do it. Mmm. Smooth. Very smooth. Okay guys, um, apologize in advance, but I think there are some things where Berno is better at doing than Prague. For example, this beer. This is the shit right now. Rounded, slightly sweet, and well balanced. I like to keep on drinking this, but we gotta continue. Okay, maybe just one more sip. Kozel. Mm. Uh, pretty big beer in the Czech Republic. I like this gold on it, cozy. Just by looking at this bottle, this is such an honest man's beer. Sweet, not bitter. I think this is a serious contender against Star Wars. I shouldn't do this on a Monday. This is just too good. Yeah, I could get used to doing this. What do you think, Grumpy? Do you like this one? Fourth place, Gambrinus. Third place, 
star of Prontman. Congratulations to those two. Now the second place, very difficult to pick. I'm gonna say the second place will be Kozel, first place will be Starry Burnham. Why? This one is more balanced, more sweet, less watery than Kozel. I like it, Maluyu Burnham, next one. <laughs> All right, next one is the expensive shit. I'm a little bit tipsy right now, but hey, let's keep going. Pilsner Urkel, I will probably pick this one as the winner because I want to live in the Czech Republic. I don't want to get beat up and harassed everywhere I go. Those miracle. Very good beer. I love mocha. Let's get it. Just amazing blonde color. So blonde, so nice. It's smooth, it's well balanced. There's just enough hop in it. It has a good kick. It's a, definitely a beer where you can recognize right away. Not much more I can say about it. Next up, Lobkowitz. Um, haven't heard this brand that much. I've seen it before. I don't like the logo on it. I think it's a little bit too old school. This uh, crest is a little bit out of, outdated. Very smooth, very rounded. It tastes very similar to Pilsen. If you were telling me this was Pilsen, I would have believed you. I think we're coming on the corner soon. Budvar, AKA the original Budweiser. This one originally is from Czeske Budivice. It's on the southern border of Czech Republic. Uh, that's all I basically know. Nice pour, look at this. 10 out of 10 pour, are you kidding me? Mm. Smooth, mm. very smooth, mm. so smooth. <laughs> it doesn't really have a signature note compared to these two. I could drink this all day. Next up, Bernard. Off the bat, I love the bottle. A bit more bitter, more hoppier. I like the foam in it. It sticks. Another good beer. Quality, rich. Let's do it, man. Come on, get drunk with me. Okay, these four, super, super hard to pick between these. Pilsen and Lokowitz, they taste very similar. And this one is completely on its own. And this one is super smooth, super well-rounded. It's not as interesting as these three, but it has this classiness to it. Hmm, which one of you is the best? I'm gonna have to say, these three tie for number one. But hey, um, I like all three. Actually, you know what? I like this bottle as well. All four of these. All of these guys win. Happy? Happy for this result? Probably not. Who cares? But okay, if I really have to pick one, I don't know. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick local ones. So guys, we're at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Go comment, share, subscribe, like. Leave in the comment section below on um, which type of beer is your favorite. As well, follow me on Instagram, DM me, let me know which other type of videos you guys think that I should do. Reaction videos, maybe just a regular vlog, maybe me going shopping, buying stuff in Bershka. I don't know Bershka, but uh, just something that everyone's going to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, follow me. See you guys next time. Ciao.